If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the new Mutt rewards that did get released last night around, like, like I don't know, like 11 midnight-ish. It was right after the kickoff game, which I guess was a cool timing. But again, too late to post a video. Um, too, I'm out of commission at that point. Uh, got finished up with the game and went to bed. But... I'm gonna show you guys if you guys don't know how to get my rewards i will briefly go over that in the video on how to get those as well and of course show you guys that there's different tiers and kind of what the packs do i'll pull the, i'll pull some packs i also have to go over some speed boost strategy cards that we do get for free which makes sure you guys are taking advantage of those because i've been taking advantage of those and it's super cool now before we get into the rest of this video guys if you are into the channel hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always guys if you want to be shout out in the poodle squad shout out all you have to do is like the video Comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, be subbed and have the Noti Bell on. Today's Poodle Squad shout-out goes out to Heat Plasma. Shout-out to me for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thanks so much for showing support each and every day. Now, guys, let's head it over. So, we did get the rewards last night, which is pretty cool to go over. I do want to go over all that. I haven't opened them yet. I've been saving them for you guys. This morning, I woke up super tired, and I was about to open them. Like I was like, oh, cool, packs. And then I was like, oh, my God, wait. I got to show you guys the packs. I, I almost completely forgot about that. So, let's head over to that, guys. Yes, I have a lot of packs here. I went to go use the campaign player fantasy pack at one point, but then my team got really good, and I was like, I guess I can't really... There's no one to really use from there right now. I'll save that for when I have a, pow a player I want to power up. I have these fantasy packs for the power, but I'm not, I don't want any of those cards really yet anyways. Maybe Jimmy Graham. But we get the Mutt Rewards All Pro. So, guys, there's Legendary, there's All Pro, there's uh, Pro, you know, all that stuff. There's a bunch of stuff there. So, if you do go into it, you will see what you get depending on your tier. So, for me specifically, I do get one All Pro fantasy pack. Which kind of sucks I didn't get the Legendary. I guess I haven't opened up enough packs. So you guys know I don't open up much packs in this uh, channel. All Pro is pretty... The uh, All Pro rewards aren't horrible considering the fact that I haven't really opened up any bundles. I think I opened up two bundles all year. So that's not horrible. So we have an All Pro Fantasy Pack. That's the first thing we got here. What are the odds of pulling something good out of this? I mean, it's decent. The All Pro Fantasy Pack is... What is that? Like a 30k pack? Maybe 60k? I forget what that one goes for. Um, have I pulled anything good out of this this year? I don't remember. I don't haven't opened many of these packs. We do have three rounds, though, so there is a chance to pull some decent stuff. We have some golds. Uh, the LTD, preferably, would be nice right about now. I'll take the Vita V and, I guess, the Josh Jacobs. It's always good to, say, it's always good to stock up on some power-ups. You never know when you might want those or need those. And we get hit with an Elite at the end here. Can we get some good out of that? We get 81 Jeffrey Simmons. I guess I'll take that. Like at the end of the day, a free Elite and some power-ups. You could never really go wrong with that. There's always some training. I mean, Jeffrey Simmons isn't some... It's not 160 training. I'll probably chill down to him uh, for Team Diamonds and all the other stuff, right? So that's that that so if you guys need to know how to get this all what what my rewards is essentially guys is it's pretty much just free rewards that every promo or every new thing of content typically like to drop some kind of a mutt rewards with that so like an ultimate kickoff team diamonds uh, most feared zero chill thanksgiving right they like to drop free packs and free rewards for you for just playing the game how do they judge what rank you're going to be and what rewards you get based on how many packs you've opened now it's not just money based it's also solo based like any pack so like getting your get a player pack every day counts as a pack your free uh, gridiron packs from daily objectives counts as a pack so typically guys if you just play the game and do a decent amount of objectives and play your solos eventually you'll be legendary pretty early in the year and you'll get all the good rewards uh, so you don't have to spam packs now if you are a guy that opened multiple bundles the first week you probably get there pretty fast but you actually get like bundles aren't as great as you think for that because if you think about it a uh, bundle let's say gridiron, let's say you're doing a leap bundle or any of those lower bundles like a legend bundle for eight like eight packs if you need a thousand packs, you know how many legend bundles you have to pop? You're better off like playing through a solo sequence. You can get like 10 to 20 packs, right? Like, and like like 76 pluses. I think those count, or at least they used to. But how do you sign up for Mutt Rewards? Go online, type in Mutt Rewards. It'll come up pretty fast. You'll see the website. All you gotta do is sign up. If you haven't already, or link it to your Xbox account. Once you link it, you won't get this one because you are past that date. But going forward, you will get it. So there's a few things you guys always want to be signed up for. You do want to have it linked to Twitch for the Twitch drops, like the Tyreek Kill. You do want to have it linked to Mutt Rewards for that stuff. So you can get all this free stuff throughout the year. Again, it may be it may be little increments, but it adds up. It really does. Like, I have a free 91 speed Tyreek Kill on my team. I also just got a Jeffrey Simmons and some free gold stuff. I've also gotten some free stuff in the beginning of the year. Like, there's just always cool stuff you can get by being a part of certain things like that. Now, that's about it for that. Let's head on over to the free speed strategy cards that you really want to be make sure you're getting because you don't want to miss out on these they're really good especially with how good these new cards are so heading over to ultimate kickoff solos if you go up here you will see a lot of people have been asking you come on down right here the U the uk ultimate kickoff defensive strategy card and ultimate kickoff offensive strategy card those two actually give you speed so the offensive one gives you speed on offense the defensive one gives you speed on defense now key thing to note here it only gives you speed towards ultimate kickoff players which is perfectly fine in my opinion because a lot of people don't even have speed cards in general and 
Calvin Johnson and Sean Taylor are two of the best cards in the game right now. And if you can get plus speed on them, that's pretty great. So I'm going to take you over to my team, and I'm going to show you guys how this does work. Now, apparently, they did add a new spot for this, which I do want to show you. They added a, another spot of strategy cards right here, which you can use to go ahead and put one of your things in. So let's say I'm going to go ahead, and I can put offensive skills or defensive skills here. I wouldn't use it in the trenches. So I'm going to put offensive skills on for my Calvin Johnson speed, right? So that's going to give me a speed boost to Calvin right here, as you guys can go ahead and see. So I'm going to come on down. I'm going to go to Calvin Johnson. You're going to be able to see how he does get a speed boost. Now, that speed boost is going to give him a 91 speed now. Now, another key thing to note, guys, this does work if he is powered up. So if I power up Calvin, he's going to be a 92 speed player now. That is pretty awesome. So 92 speed on Calvin. Now, if you also have the wide receiver speed uh, strategy card, he will also get a 93 speed and so on and so forth. Now, the beauty of this is that Calvin Johnson's six foot five with insane, like, you know, catching and, you know, combo of everything. And he's... He's going to be able to go ahead and get faster speed than Tyree Kill. Like, even okay, just with this card, he's just as fast as Tyree Kill, which is pretty insane. Now, if you happen to put a power up on him, he's even faster than Tyree Kill. And if you put a you put a speed cam on him, he's probably the fastest wide receiver in the game. It's just pretty awesome to be able, be able to go ahead and do that. Now, same thing for Sean Taylor on the defensive side of the ball. The only way you're gonna to have to go ahead and get that is put the other one in. So that means you're gonna to have to go ahead and probably mess with some stuff. Again, in my personal opinion, I you have one extra spot to put it in. And then if you don't, if you have to make room, right? So currently I use this one right here, which is the um, the uh, speed and space for my Saquon. But I already have the offensive one in here. So what I'll do is I'll go into my defensive spots and I'll go put one of my defensive ones as the speed boost. So I'll get rid of, let's say, short tackler. And I'll give myself a Sean Taylor speed boost, which I find super important in my personal opinion, considering. So um, for some reason, I don't see it. my defensive one here. That's that, that's strange. Oh, maybe you can't put them both in there. That, that would make sense, I suppose. Okay, so that spot is kickoff only. Ultimate kickoff only. It, it appears like, again, I could be I could be wrong right now, but I'm pretty sure it's ultimate kickoff only. I do not see my other one. So keep that in mind. You can only use one. So do you want Calvin to have the speed or Sean Taylor? Personally, I think Calvin's more important. Uh, zones are kind of broken right now. Oh, yeah. So this spot's only ultimate kickoff. Um, zones are broken. So... At the end of the day, plus one speed is not going to change how much he really does over there. Not to mention that he is, if you use him, yes, the plus one speed is cool. But Calvin at 92 means like, you know how Madden is, right? If you don't have a better speed, you really don't burn people. You need like an elite speed to really burn people consistently. And six foot five with that, you know, release and strength and weight. Plus the fact that he's going to have the highest speed on most of, against any pretty much uh, against any defense you play goes a long way. So I'd rather have it on my Calvin. So I'm going to power up Calvin, go ahead and get him to a 92 speed, of course, and go ahead and take that route. But guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. So remember, go to MuttRewards.com, sign up, link your EA account, link your Madden Xbox account, your PS5 account, your PS4 account, your Xbox One. You know, there's so many consoles now. I'm not going to go through all of them. But make sure you link that, get your Mutt Rewards. While you're at it, make sure to do your Twitch and Twitch drop links as well because you don't want to miss out on stuff like that. You already missed out on Tyreek, but there will be more opportunities because remember, the MCS Champion card will require three cards in it. So there will be two more Tyreek S cards, right? It won't be Tyreek again, but they did go Tyreek for the first one, which gives me a lot of faith in who they'll end up picking as we go because last year was just chubb keenan allen ramsey they all sucked they, they were big good names but just bad cars they made tyreek really good though so that gives me hope for the rest of the year so make sure you're getting that done to get ahead of the thing on get ahead of the curve on that that's about it guys so make sure you get your free speed boost card make sure you do go ahead and claim your mutt rewards that's about it enjoy the rest of your day thank you guys so much for watching i'm out peace